Well, I spoke to Josh Willis, a NASA climate scientist, who explained what it'll take to slow down what he calls this unstoppable sea level rise. We have built our society uh, with the sea level we've had for about the last 2,000 years. During most of that time, uh, global sea levels have remained pretty constant. But in the last 150 or so, as the planet's begun to heat up, we've seen sea levels rising faster and faster. Uh, and looking into the future, we expect sea level rise rates to increase even more. And what impact could that have globally? Well, uh, hundreds of millions of people live within a few, within a meter or so of current day sea level. And as the waters rise, these places will see more frequent storm surges, more frequent high tides. And uh, generally speaking, the uh, impacts of erosion, uh, beach loss, um, these things will accelerate and become uh, quite a problem for a large population of people. Uh, in Southeast Asia, in Bangladesh, uh, in places like uh, the southern United States, Louisiana and Florida, all of these places are uh, very low-lying and tend to have large population centers. And so these places will have to begin to make tough decisions. Some regions are probably going to be lost to the oceans, and some will probably be protected, and we're going to have to begin to decide which ones. But in the long run, we can still stave off the largest rates of sea level rise, but we're going to have to prepare for some sea level rise no matter what. Well, it sounds pretty alarming. So anything can be done to actually slow the rate? Well, of course, sea level rise is driven by human-caused climate change. We add extra carbon dioxide to the atmosphere in the amount of many tons every day. And so we're really looking at uh, reshaping the planet's climate. So the first thing we can do is try and put fewer carbon dioxide molecules in the atmosphere, burn fewer fossil fuels. But we're also going to have to prepare for some amount of sea level rise. So we have to both uh, mitigate the biggest impacts and also try and prepare for what we can't avoid. And what is the advice scientists like yourselves have um, to slow the rate? And in your opinion, what's the worst case scenario and what's the best case scenario? Well, the best case scenario would be uh, maybe a, a half or a third of a meter of sea level rise in the next hundred years. This is something that we could probably uh, adapt to and prepare for. Um, the worst case might be as much as two meters in the next 100 years, uh, which would really be devastating all around the world. And the issue is uh, just how much um, fossil fuels we're going to burn and how much carbon dioxide we're going to add to the atmosphere. And in 2013, two years ago, uh, United Nations Panel on Climate Change issued a report on global sea levels. How does NASA's data compare to the panel's prediction? Well, of course, the IPCC is a major authority on sea level rise, but research continues all the time. And in the past couple of years since the report came out, we've seen that uh, larger areas of the world's great ice sheets are threatened by encroaching water from the oceans. And so uh, sea level rise might be an even bigger problem than predicted by the IPCC report last time.